All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is Ronnie Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to do a multiplayer game uh, with a chat as well, so you can communicate. And the game we're uh, playing is chess. So I'm using JavaScript, uh, IX and JavaScript, and PHP and SQL. So I'm I hope you're a bit familiar with those uh, uh, concepts or or uh, code. Uh, well, uh, why I'm doing this is because I uh, I just love the programming community out there. If you want to learn something, you can just go on and uh, on the web and search uh, in YouTube, or you just Google something and you get the code you want, and you can learn everything just through the internet. So it's great a great thing, and uh, well, I want to give something back. And uh, I couldn't find this how you if you have a game you're logged in and you wanna if you wanna like communicate with someone else. So uh, this is what I'm gonna show you. Uh, let's get going here. So uh, you see this chessboard here, and uh, I've been borrowing this chess engine from uh, a guy. Uh, I think it's his. Well, the channel he's got is uh, Blue Fever Software. So go check that one out. It's a great program. Uh, he's been programming in, uh, in uh, purely in JavaScript. It's uh, it's great how he does it. Uh, you see, it's uh, 63 videos, and uh, well, it's pretty intense. Uh, but it's great if you just want to learn JavaScript. Uh, so here is how uh, his thing works. Uh, you have this page here. Uh, I've added this, but you just come to this page when you when you implement his thing. And what it does is, you go to this page, now it's localhost here, uh, so it's on just locally on my computer. But I've put it live as well, so you can use that as well. So maybe in the uh, last video, I'll show you how to put it live if you're unfamiliar with those things. Anyway, so I love this page, and now when I start, uh, you should know something about chess, you know, white, black, and you know, you can do one move at a time. So, uh, I hope you know something about it. This is not about uh, how chess moves and stuff like that. It's more about a tutorial, how you connect to people to, to play. So, you see anyway here, uh, I move, uh, the computer moves. And this is just purely JavaScript, so I've already loaded this page. So. Uh, I don't need to communicate anymore, so I already got it on, say I play this on my telephone. Uh, I don't need to get information or put out information to play it. Once I loaded the page, it's just going by itself. That's what's great about this. So you see, if I refresh this uh, si uh, site, um, you uh, start all over again. Uh, it's also a problem because if I go to another page and then I come back to this page it all starts all over again so what I wanted to do first of all is to put uh, you know login so you can log in save the board and then you can come back to it so say if you're sitting on a bus or in a car and you you're getting out and uh, you you're happy where where you are you know uh, it's going great uh, you're winning but now uh, you have to uh, take a break how are you going to do this well if it's the first time you come into the page you can just go and register and you you put your um, you put in a username and a password and you confirm the password you push register and then you can log in uh, I already got uh, one here, so I'm, I'm just going to put a, a username and a code here. If I log in now, uh, I come to this. So uh, you see the chess board hasn't changed, so that is also just purely JavaScript. But when I push start save game, or sorry, save, save board, uh, I'm gonna save this board and what it does is it's sending information to SQL uh, so now it's been sending so uh, I got this in my um, SQL my database 
and uh, now I can do whatever. If I start a new game and I push start save game, you always get to this uh, board that you had before. So this is good because now we can save a board and we can come back to it. So if I change uh, uh, the page, I come back to it. I need to log in again, but then I have this move I can uh, I can just log in and I go start save game and, we, and we're coming back to it so there you have it uh, I've, I've uh, taken away some some of his stuff you know like uh, uh, the best move possible and stuff like that that he's done with his uh, chess engine the guy from uh, blue fever software uh, and uh, well we got this but I left this if you're playing against a computer and you want to try different um, um, boards, you can do that. So if I got a new game, doesn't matter, and I put in one here, that means it's one empty uh, place here. So if I push set position, you see it goes away. So I can do this, I can set up whatever I want here. So if you want to try something out and you want to see what the computer does if in a different um, place you can do it so that's great about his chess engine I just love it uh, okay so um, what I wanted to do now is uh, wanna, if you want to play with your uh, mates or you know you, you just want to play with some other person how are you gonna do this well then I've created this multiplayer game here so if you push multiplayer game, you will come to this uh, it's, uh, page if you're not uh, already in a game. So here I've created different user users and you see that all these are uh, available. Um, I'm not sure why it says it's available here, it shouldn't be there. It's probably because I've taken away something. Uh, anyway. So uh, what's happening here is that if I here you got a chat it's like a live uh, forum chat you go you do like uh, hello everyone uh, you see it comes uh, uh, it says hello everyone and I've already put that so uh, hi how's it going like that you see it comes up here and it's me at 12 I'm logged in as at 12 now and uh, I put hi at 12 in here and so Dia says hi at 12 so it's just a normal chat and if you want to play against someone say uh, uh, in Dia do you want to play Dia saying do you want to play uh, and uh, sure thing uh, the thing is that if you come to this page, those are available and it's not because they're logged in, it's because they're not playing against someone else. So you, why I created this chat is to see if someone is there or not. Uh, so you do this chat and you see yeah, Dia's in here, so if I push Dia now, she's gonna be connected to a game. So I push Dia and you see I get this board here and she as well so welcome at 12 you're playing against Dia and welcome Dia you're playing against at 12 and now we got like a uh, another chat uh, so this is just for uh, my opponent and me so uh, I, um, I put this in and we, we have a um, an individual chat here so now we start playing and now it's not about the chess engine anymore now it's about me against an opponent but I'm still using uh, Blue Fever Software's programming code here I just changed it so I've taken away the engine so to speak and I put in uh, so we just output we, we use this program like rules how to move and, and uh, flip sides and stuff like that so you see here I'm white and Dia is black and uh, when you play you always want to have your or normally if you're if you're uh, not a professional or something then then you want your pieces down here so 
it's easy to do with his um, JavaScript uh, thing. So that's why I chose uh, choose to have chosen to um, put his thing even here in multiplayer game. So uh, I uh, you see here Dia is mo making a move and I get it on my side. Uh, if she tries to move now, she can't even uh, you see. So it doesn't matter. But when I can't move black on this side, but as soon as I move white, I make a move. So uh, we got that figured out. And uh, then you you um, you can do a new game if you want, or you can uh, choose to get a new op opponent. And either one can push new game or new opponent. So if she pushes new opponent, we come back to this. Uh, oh. What happened? Uh, and you go like, uh, I don't want to play you. You're too slow. Okay, so, uh, and then I can ch um, uh, do another one. If I push like another player here, I'm at 12, so this is Dia, and if I put, uh, I want to play against Aron. Look what happens here in my on my side. You see that now Dia and Aron is not available. So this means I can I I said 12 can't push this because they're not available. They're having their own game. So uh Pat <coughs> are you up for it? And then he answers or something and I go to Pad and because it's available I'm coming here. So now if I log in as pad, you will get to this page immediately. So if I go back now, we're here. And I log in as pad, log in, and I push multiplayer game. Normally you will come to this, uh, f you know, chat, the forum chat or whatever, uh, to choose a player. But since I've chosen pad right away, if I push multiplayer game, you come to this page here. So uh, now he's already in this game. Say he didn't want to play me, I, I, I push. Uh, he he can push new opponent uh, straight away. But if we start playing, and you actually accidentally uh, have no connections, you're like, whoa, what happened? This stays the same. So I haven't pushed uh, another opponent or anything. So um, uh, I'm going on, I'm, I'm, I'm logging in again and see what happens. Pad, 111, 111. Multiplayer game, and you see you have this, you're still here, so it's saved somewhere or saved in SQL in the database we're going to create. So this is what's happening. Uh, Pew it was saved so you can you can go off and do something else and you can always come back to this as uh, but you can though you can't go push back or new opponent if i go back and reload this page that that's what it's about if i reload this page he's gonna feel it he's uh, the, the, uh, uh, he's gonna connect to the database and uh, well we're gonna get uh, uh, to that uh, later okay so there you have it uh, I'm doing this with uh, I'm programming in uh, notepad plus plus looks like this I've tried sublime but you know I think this is you get everything on on uh, notepad plus plus you can just uh, get the plugins for it and it's perfect I think I have a hard time with the, uh, obviously you can change the background color on uh, uh, Sublime as well, but I like the white. I don't like the black. Why, why am I talking about this? Uh, <laughs> you don't care. But this is how I, uh, what I program in. And uh, well, this is one of the projects uh, that we're gonna look at. And you see it's a chess mult multiplayer and uh, this is what we got inside uh, the chess multiplayer. So uh, we got um, 
this is when you go to the multiplayer uh, side of it this other stuff here is just the, the uh, what do you say the front page uh, when we go to uh, index this one so this is just the computer and the login uh, to save uh, games against the computer so that's the first thing here uh, I told you about we're, we're, uh, we're doing it in JavaScript and PHP uh, so and uh, SQL so this one is how to connect to the database and here we got some PHP pages and index is uh, you know normally the, 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 the start page so this is the start page but I'm going I'm coming back in the next video to, to explain uh, this and we're gonna start I think with the SQL how to set up the SQL uh, what else do I need to say on this video I don't, well uh, no I'm, uh, I'm gonna talk about those stuff in the next video so um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video Thanks.